Welcome to um, welcome to Morning Brew. Um, welcome to this week's edition. Glad you all could join me. I, I really hope you're being blessed by these devotions we're doing weekly. You got Brent doing a Monday through Thursday. And, um, and uh, he's pretty much sticking with a topic Monday through Thursday and, and working through it. Fridays we do Morning Brew and it's more of a Whatever God's, whoever does it, it's more whoever, whatever's God's speaking to our heart. And uh, just something to, something to kind of chew on over the weekend, just a topic, off topic, nothing organized, set, or anything like that. And uh, so, again, welcome. Glad you could join me. I uh, hope you got a coffee. Coffee's important. It's, uh, it's uh, definitely, de God definitely created the coffee bean because, um, it's uh it's heavenly so anyway so let me get focused more serious right now um so you know when i was growing up and in in young and in the church you know back in the 80s it was a big thing for like what was god's calling for your life that was a question asked a lot you know and back then it was interesting because i can remember the big push back then when i was growing up was everybody going to ministry. You know, it actually made me think about that, well, everybody's a pastor or everybody's a missionary. Um, well, heck, where are the Christians that like do other jobs? You know, so, you know, it's always a question is, what is God's calling on your life? And how do we know that calling? And, you know, it's this could actually be a great message series, but I'm, I want to hit on a couple scriptures to kind of get you thinking about what is God's calling in your life? You know, what do you feel it is? And when you put things, when you, when you look at scripture and, and see what God has to say, God's calling on our life is for us to live a life of holiness. It's for us to live a life seeking him. And living a righteous life and and it's the idea of of that we put him first in our life you know and that in everything we do it's deliberate and intentional so when you think about god's calling in our life and that god calls us to a life of holiness when we put him first when we seek him first it says in psalms 37 verse 4 that he will give us the desires of our heart well, if God's going to, so if, if we seek him first and he gives us the desires of our heart, he, see, he knows best. So I was thinking about this earlier, like, so God created me. So God knows best what fits me. So if I seek him first, he's going to put the desires on my heart for the attributes that define me and that, that, and, and, and match me with something that is going to um, I'm going to be able to excel at. I'm going to be able to succeed at. I'm going to be able to be most efficient at. You know, does that make sense? So one scripture I want to look at is if you look at Ephesians 4.1. Um, oops, that's Timothy. We're going to go to that scripture later. Ephesians 4 verse 1, it says, Paul says, as a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Wow, what is that calling that we received? That calling that we received is a call to holiness, is a call to to live that life that that strives for a relationship with Him, and as a result of striving for that relationship with Him, and as a, as a result of building that relationship with Him, His desires, the des, God's desires, will be within our heart, and what we do, well, and, and the byproduct of that is what we do in life. Will, will is is essentially what we what God's called us to do. Um, what we do in life will will complement the desires God puts in our heart. I hope that's not sounding too complex. So the next thing is is Romans eight twenty eight or not complex. I hope it's not being confusing. So in Romans eight twenty eight, I want you to look at this too. It says that and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him. Who have been a called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might 
be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters, and those he predestined, he called. Those he called, he justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. So God has a plan for us. God has a purpose for us. And that purpose is one, to seek him and to seek holiness. And two, as we seek him and seek holiness, the, his desires will be on our heart. And, and whatever we choose to do, because we are living in him, will complement the attributes perfectly that God has put into us, that he's created in us. So, you know, not everybody's called to be president of the United States. Not everybody's called to be CEO of a company. You know, I look at the mom that stays home and 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 raises her children in, in a godly way is just as, as important as the mom that goes in the professional field and excels and succeeds and and influences people in a godly way there. Or the dad who, who, who chooses a job that allows him to be there for, for his children and, and, and raising his children and mentoring his children and mentoring the people around him is just as important as the man that chose, chooses the single life and ends up moving up in the corporate world. Both those men living and living, putting God first in their life are are, are fulfilling God's purpose, fulfilling God's will in their life because they're seeking holiness. You know, so I don't ever want a, you know, it's the idea of not ever feeling inadequate because of what you do. Your adequacy comes, your, your relevance in life comes from seeking him and seeking holiness. And through that, you'll find the direction that God leads, that, that the direction that best complements who you are. Um, you know, the last scripture I want to want to read is is Second Timothy, and it's one verse nine, and and I and it and this sums it up, and it says, "He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because anything we have done, but because of His own purpose and grace." See, He saved us, and He's called us to a holy life. You know. So I hope this word's encouraging because I feel like so many times we get so caught up in, man, what is God's calling in my life? What am I supposed to do? Especially young people coming out of high school, going into college. What has God called me to do? God's called you to be holy. And when you seek a, a right relationship with him and when you seek a friendship with him and when you seek, when you seek, when you, when you seek his heart, he puts his desires in you and those desires will best complement who God created you to be. So Ephesians 4, 1, Romans 8, 28 through 30 and uh, 2 Timothy 1, 9. Just check those scriptures out this week. And if you find any other scriptures that you find that minister to you in reference to what, what, what has God called you to be, go ahead, post them. Post them in our comment section on uh, under Morning Brew. And love to hear from you. And I just want to thank you for joining us today. God bless.